Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwander and today we'll talk about how you can move out of your comfort zone so you can reach peak performance. In the previous videos, we talked about the three balls you need to learn how to juggle to become a peak performer. The first ball is no limit thinking. The second is conquering fear. The third is about turning discomfort into the courage to act. Your brain is wired to seek comfort. The feeling of comfort is smooth, it's soothing, and you may see it as a reward, as something you deserve after all your hard work that you have done. Here's a quick illustration. The vertical axis shows your performance level from low to high, and the horizontal axis shows your stress level from low to high. Now, the, the comfort zone will put your mind and body at ease, but too much comfort will turn into a disease. It is a silent disease that gets people to do what's most convenient, what's easy, and what requires little or no thinking. Let's talk about the negative habits that people develop when they get stuck in the comfort zone. They procrastinate, they binge on comfort food, they seek comfort in alcohol, smoking weed, or taking drugs, and they blame circumstances that they created for their lack of success. They play it safe, and they confuse comfort with security inside. They're really afraid, afraid of leaving that comfort zone. The reality is that the more time you spend in the comfort zone, the fewer chances you get at a meaningful, rewarding, and fulfilling life. If the discomfort is too high, your performance will be low because you may get into panic mode. And that's not a good place to be. Life is not a sprint. It is a long marathon. And you don't want to exhaust yourself on the first mile. Peak performance move from the comfort zone to the high performance zone. They are able to function optimally with a manageable amount of discomfort. And you can train your brain to increase your tolerance of discomfort. You can learn to feel comfortable with feeling uncomfortable. It sounds like a paradox. And here are five steps that I want to share with you to help you to get to, to that peak performance level. Number one, change your brain chemistry by using humor. Research shows that when you start laughing, your brain releases endorphins, which will make your mood better and it will increase your ability to tolerate discomfort and even pain. Let's say you uh, make 50 prospecting calls today, you have it on a list, you don't want to do it, and uh, you'd rather play golf or make closing calls. Take three minutes to watch something that's funny or read something that's funny or ask somebody to tell you a joke and you laugh out loud. It will shift your mood. Next, relabel the source of discomfort instead of saying, this sucks. Label it a warm-up exercise for peak performance. Call it a beneficial misery or say that you're in training for the gold medal in the Coca Olympics. Or maybe you promise yourself a reward. Number two, remind yourself of the reasons why you want to be successful. Remember, the bigger the why, the bigger the try, and the easier the how. Number three, study the habits of people who mastered mental toughness. Read a book about how Navy SEALs prepare themselves for amazing human achievements. Discover their perspective on pain and discomfort, or Read the stories of POWs who survived torture and deprivation in prison camps. I've had the honor of meeting several of these heroes, and their indomitable spirit left a deep impression on me. Here's a question for you. If these POWs were able to give up four or five years of their lives to serve their country, can you honor your life? by giving up a few hours of comfort every day so you can help improve the world by becoming a peak performer? Number four, embrace the suck. Encourage yourself 
to embrace the discomfort on your way to success. You don't want to allow your need for comfort kill your productivity. Embrace that suck that comes from having deadlines, from experiencing expectations, and from crushing your quota. Expand your drive and ambition and do more and learn more and you earn more. Number five, get moving. Motivation comes from motion. The average American, for example, walks only about 5,900 steps and the American Heart Association recommends that you walk 10,000 steps every day. My daily goal is 11,000 steps and uh, I have a Fitbit that are away at all times. And uh, I get the benefit of competing with a number of friends. We encourage each other uh, to get moving and to get motivated. And the motivation you get from being physically fit is the energy you need to push through the discomfort. It may not feel comfortable when you start, but the benefits by far outweigh the penalties that you suffer from getting stuck in the comfort zone. If you want to be a no limit thinker, you start with ball number one. Ball number two is overcoming fear and they are closely associated. You cannot be a no limit thinker and not being able to manage fear. They will go hand in hand. And ball number three is all about managing discomfort. It's called discomfort. So if you diss it, you won't miss it. So you want to juggle those three balls. No limit thinking, eliminating fears, and letting go of discomfort, turning discomfort into motion. Please download your workbook now and complete the exercises and join me in the next video. Thank you very much.